The warning from doctors as well this evening about ventilators. One saying it's like we're playing musical chairs already now, juggling them between patients. Tonight, we're one-on-one -on -one with California's governor and ABC's Matt Gutman now from California. Tonight, the virus continues to tear through the ranks of frontline workers. ICU nurse Larissa Anderson, the latest casualty, the 46-year-old mother of two, she'd been tirelessly treating COVID-19 patients in New Orleans. They're not trying to be superheroes. They run towards, you know, tragedy, like when everyone else runs the opposite way. In some states, up to one in five COVID-positive patients our healthcare workers. We've been following up Probably with Dr. Ed Latham for two weeks now. When I'm coming home, I can take a deep breath and I can fill my lungs and and then all I want to do is cry because I don't know what else to do with the emotion anymore. In Detroit, doctors say they are already juggling those life-saving ventilators. We are running out of ventilators and I feel like we're playing musical chairs with the ventilators we have on right now. That as the scramble for supplies accelerates. So what do you say to healthcare workers that are wearing trash bags that they're not getting enough people? It's PPE? unacceptable that they are and all I can say is we hear you. Which is why California's Governor Gavin Newsom is telling us the state is buying as much PPE as it can on the open market. Are you finding yourself bidding against other governors in other states for PPE? Yeah, no question. And we're bidding against the federal government. But that said, we also are one of the largest purchasers in the world. We are the fifth largest economy in the world, uh, and as a consequence, we can outbid most. What states like California are not doing? Not waiting around for someone on a white horse to come save the day. I.e. the federal government. I.e. the federal government. And yet every day, flickers of hope. That gauntlet of cheerleaders at Phoebe Putney Memorial in Georgia. Their second patient off a ventilator. We love seeing that image from Georgia today. Matt Gutman with us tonight from California. You're there in Sacramento, and I know that that state is a scrambling to find that protective gear you just reported on for healthcare workers. They're also facing another problem, a huge lag in testing. And it is a huge lag, David. The governor telling me it takes anywhere from 6 to 12 days to get results from testing. He says there are 60,000 people in this state right now still awaiting results, something he says is simply unacceptable. David. All right, Matt, thank you again. To Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.